Hi everyone, so another video for you today. So on the left we have someone called Resistance GB, okay? And on the right obviously we have Piers Corbin. So Piers Corbin is one of the figureheads of the so-called anti-lockdown movement. And also he is supposedly going to be a uh, candidate for next mayor of London. Okay, but for now, we're going to focus on the guy on the left, um, Resistance GB. Now, he uh, uses nationalism all the time to try and garner support from a certain section um, of Great Britain. I'll give you an example right now. Here you go. Here's a picture. So, there he is there. All in blue, as always, and there he is carrying the Union Jack. So that was at the protest, I believe, on the 19th of September. Okay. So like I said, always using uh, the Union Jack to try and get support. Okay. So who is he? And why are we making another video about him? Well, if there is going to be a second wave of protests that actually do something, the only way we can do it is if we learn from the mistakes and the mistakes are that we allowed people like this to lead the movement when in fact they are possibly controlled opposition. Okay, so let's have a look at this guy, because what you'll find is that he's always with people like Piers Corbyn. As you can see there, yeah. So that's the second photo. As well as that one. And, you know, he always wants to be centre of the shot. And it's very easy for him to be centre of the shot because he's so tall. And that's why he's used for these events. Because he stands out. So he can be used to survey people, like is possible, possibly doing there. Again, wearing all blue. What's blue the colour of? Yeah. So this time it's at Hyde Park. Yeah. And here he is, acting the fool like he tends to, even though we're in the middle of a crisis where um, it's affecting people's health. It's affecting people's jobs, but here he is acting a clown at a so-called Assange movement event. And there's another actor that we've discussed before. Here he is with another actor called Base Damie, but we like to call her Bias Damie. Another one who likes to use a lot of um, nationalistic imagery in the videos and clothes, etc, etc. Okay. Um, here's another event where Resistance GB is another fake looking event. Okay, there's Skateboard Man, who we made a video about the other day. Okay. So, that's who he is. Now, why have I decided to make a video? Because I saw this. So again, notice the flag, right there, on purpose. Um, and just like his probably uncle, I would say, maybe David Curtin. That's what they do. They always have the Union Jack around them. Like David Curtin here on the left, when you see his videos, always has the Union Jack behind him when he's in his office, always. And I would say these two are probably blood related. They probably, um, you know, go to the to the lodge together as well. If you know what I'm saying. So David Curtin on the left. No resistance, GB on the right. Again, laughing. Having a great time during the pandemic. So anyway, yeah, back to this photo. Notice his T-shirt. Notice his T-shirt. Okay. So, what he's going to say is, freedom of speech, I'm allowed to wear what I want, blah, blah, blah. But what I would say to that is, if you're wearing something that you know is going to cause a group of people offence, then why would you do that? I don't intentionally 
get stuff for my wardrobe that I know is going to offend uh, a, a group of people. Now, the only reason you would do that is if you're some kind of provocateur. Or if you're trying to make out that you're ultra-nationalistic and you can't stand Islam. That's why you would wear that t-shirt. Yeah? And then what you have to do is tie it in with something else. Now, I show this every time I can. It's very important. So here he is. And he's actually conservative politician he's going to say his account so i don't give a damn about the technicalities you're a conservative politician from where i stand end of story okay um so yeah supposedly because i don't know if this is true but if it is true they say he was suspended over racist remarks okay so here's another article well here it is more in more depth so conservative party has suspended him after he was accused of making racist comments his actual name, William Cole Shill, yeah, had his membership suspended pending investigation. Okay. Now, um, from what I remember reading, it was aimed at Turkish people. Now, Turkish people might have, um, what's the word, a tendency to be Muslim. So, therefore, that T-shirt would defend them as well. So not only is he making the racist comments where he gets suspended, he's also wearing this T-shirt, which is going to be, you know, provoke a group of people, namely Islam. Um, so I have to question your intention. If you're about Great Britain, then you're about the people that live here. And there's obviously going to be very many peaceful people from Islam. So then why would you want to promote them? Is it because you're an agent of division? Is that why? Because you're an agent of division. Rather than trying to unite the people, which is what we do here, and we don't see colour, and we allow people to be religious and, and tolerate it as long as they don't harm others. What's the problem with that? So, you know, people in my community, I would imagine, would never wear this kind of T-shirt. And you have to question why you did it. It's because you wanted to get support from a certain section of people, possibly... Yeah, there's no need for it. There's no need to go out of your way to wear a piece of clothing that's going to offend a group of people. If you do it, it's with a reason. If you did it, if you were suspended because of racist comments, you put these two together. It doesn't look good for you, does it? It doesn't look good for you. So basically what we've got is a guy who likes to be centre of attention, who is in dodgy events where he supposedly gets arrested but then ends up making these ridiculous faces like he's in some kind of pantomime and he's allowed to spew political rhetoric for 10 minutes before he's pushed into a van. Okay, then you have um, him holding a Union Jack and on this photo, he's actually got the Union Jack right in front of the policeman's face and he's just holding it there. <laughs> um, and another photo of him supposedly getting arrested. And again, it's just perfect for the media because they like to see... Um, minorities um, getting so-called arrested it's good for it's good for the media they love that kind of stuff you know they love to uh, exploit these things okay so and you know look here he is making sure here he is making sure that he got right close to that German doctor if you remember the one who spoke yeah so that's what he does. He makes sure he's centre of attention. He makes sure he's always near these people like Piers Corbyn and David Curtin, who's probably related to. And yeah, the, what they do is they, they watch the, the PayPal donations come in as they film their fake events, okay, that they're friends and them are part of, and their, <clears throat> and their media company that they set up to film more fake events. Yeah. That's, that's basically how it goes. Okay. So let's leave it like that because I don't want to go on. We'll leave it under 10 minutes. 
So this is why I made the video, because if we are going to have a second wave of protests to actually do something, then we need to know who are the people who misled us and led us down the garden path by doing fake events. And people like this guy here, Resistance GB, who's basically an agent of division and wants to cause tension in this country. So that flag that he's got in there, that is an absolute joke, him having that, because he is not patriotic. He's a traitor to this country. And anyone affiliated with him, and you know who you are then you know you're part of that as well so we 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 go to bed guilt-free we live in guilt-free land we know we're doing the right thing we know we're doing as much as um possibly can to try and unite people and people like this are here to uh divide and that's why he's there okay to make out like he's there for the people to make out like he's for great britain but in fact he's an agent of division who's causing um fear and division as well but fear because when he does these fake events where he's getting arrested and others uh, are so-called getting arrested it's to spread fear so he's a panic of uh, sorry he's an agent of division and a provocateur okay there we go so I hope you uh, found that educational. All the best to you, from my f beautiful family to your beautiful families. You take care of yourselves and others. No new normal. Unite the people to fight the evil. This is John Overkill. We are over and out. Peace, liberty and justice for all. Knowledge is power. Take care, everyone. Peace.